Yep, I will do that, Scott, and I've already sold the 1050s against it right now, and um, my intention is to roll up and take those profits off the table. Um, I know you and Phil were doing a great job breaking down some of those numbers. How about this one? $700 million is what they get from the other automakers, Scott, that have to buy their credits uh, because they produce uh, gasoline and diesel vehicles and they need those emission credits, if you will. $700 million. Mm. Do you know how much it costs Tesla to get that? Zero. That falls right to the bottom line. That is pure profit, my friend. And so without the legacy costs and with those credits, those aren't the government. The government might mandate that sort of stuff, but that's from all of their competitors, Scott. It's the craziest thing. And yet people don't recognize that. I just noted that the Citigroup analyst had moved up the target to 375 and still had a sell on it. Why would anybody listen to an analyst like that that has completely missed the boat on one of these stocks of the decade, yeah, yeah, no which doubt. is what Tesla is? Yeah, Brenda, you've looked at it many times. I, I know. Uh, just can't get beyond the, the price. We know it's expensive, but, you know, they're giving you every reason today, according to some analysts, to have it as a must-own. Yeah, no doubt. This is an incredibly strong quarter, um, and the fundamentals remain, remain, you know, incredible. It's certainly a first mover within the EV space. But I think if we look at valuation combined with the fact that over the next several years, we're going to see a lot of competition coming down the road. And, you know, as the bulls might argue, well, Tesla's, you know, created this really um, loyal customer base that's going to keep coming back for more. But I, I don't think we can deny that there is going to be a lot more competition coming. Um, so that combined with the valuation, combined with the environment that we're in with interest rates rising, that is what gives us pause in terms of actually pulling the trigger.